Hey, what's up everybody? Chris back this week with another prototype tip. And today we're talking 3D printing and more specifically, we're gonna talk about high temperature 3D printing. So let's get into it. Now at Protocase and Protospace MFG, we understand that innovation-focused work requires getting your projects done as quickly as possible. With creating a manufacturable design, there are numerous factors that could cause latencies in your project timeline if you're not careful. Depending on your specific design, you may be required to leverage the unique properties of 3D printed parts and enclosures on their own or as part of a full assembly. So today's video aims to not only educate on the advantages of 3D printing, but also the specifics about high temperature 3D printing for those projects that require using advanced thermoplastics. Now before diving into high temperature 3D printing, it's important to first revisit the fundamentals of 3D printing. After all, a solid understanding of the basics is going to be very important. Protocase's 3D printing uses fused deposition modeling, which involves heating the filament and then depositing it by an extrusion head onto a build platform where it cools off. Unlike our sheet metal and CNC milling processes, 3D printing is additive. Plastic is added to the design layer by layer to allow rapid creation of prototype plastic parts and end-use products. 3D printing is incredibly useful for rapid prototyping and product development, especially when you work with us, as we can do 3D printed parts in as fast as two to three days. Now, a few months ago, we did add a new service, high temperature 3D printing. So what does that mean for you? Well, we are now able to print filaments that require up to 500 degrees. This can handle advanced thermoplastics such as PEI, PEEK, and PEKK, which are known for their exceptional strength, heat resistance, and durability. High temperature 3D printing is especially valuable in industries like aerospace, automotive, and medical, where components must withstand extreme conditions while maintaining their structural integrity. The technology also enables rapid iteration cycles. Complex parts that might take longer to be milled can be printed in no time, allowing you to test multiple iterations quickly and refine designs based on real world performance data. This aligns with what we like to call high velocity mass customization. By leveraging HVMC, we manufacture fully finished custom parts in super fast time, enabling you to accelerate product testing and experimental development. And 3D printing is gonna be perfect for this. Do note though that the work envelope for our high temperature 3D printing differs from our standard 3D printing services. While the work envelope for standard 3D printing is 14.17 inches by 14.17 inches by 14.17 inches, for high temperature 3D printing it is 11.81 inches by 11.81 inches by 15.75 inches. While standard printing is done on a square bed, high temperature will be done in a circular workspace. The bed in this case is a 300 millimeter diameter and can print up to 400 millimeters in the Z direction. So that's all I have for this week's Prototech Tip on high temperature 3D printing. If you do have any questions or want to get a project started, please get in touch with our team of friendly and knowledgeable account managers. You can send an email over to info at protocase.com or if you work in aerospace, info at protospacemfg.com. They are dedicated to simplifying every step of this process from quoting to ordering to shipping and ensuring a seamless and stress-free experience. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips dropping every week. Until next time, take care.